Yeah, I got a name and dope on the street. Nighttime comes, I can't sleep. That's the part fake rappers don't speak. We don't hit the road because we're tops. Don't come out of the room and want to sell drugs. If we got the right guy that's in love, would we fight people just like us? How can I not the hustle to get by? How do you think I ain't as a child? Judge no one, done many things wrong. Just don't boast about it in songs, but listen to my older bars. I was just as confused as you probably are, but you grow when you learn. Travel and cut, one too many man, you know, get cut. One too many man that could have been doctors, end up spending their whole life boxed up. You learn if you study, so set out just to make them money. No cover. It's all about getting poor people to fight with one another, so it's logical that us killing our brothers, dissing our mothers is right in line with the dominant philosophy of our time. Time is a cycle. Not a line. Comes back around, you regain your mind. You're ready for the energy I've channeled in my rhyme. Remedy the end penny with the depth of your mind when the world is left is a crime. So we can all fight with our brothers over crumbs. Far harder to fight with one who makes the guns. We can all talk shit and get two dollars. Far harder to be the one who seeks knowledge. But if we understood economics with no money's nothing, think nothing of it. Money is a means to get wealth. Not the wealth itself, and don't get confused. Far from broke, all that you see me do, I own, but I won't hang what I make around my neck. I know from where that the diamonds came, but I do literally own a library that definitely costs more than your chain. And businesses, and property, far from starving, I eat quite properly, and I don't care. I just said it for the kids. We need to know you're not broke to listen. We don't know an asset from a liability, they've never been shown or told the difference. So we don't change situation. The richest man in Britain is Asian. That's significant, not coincidence. Asian people build businesses not by flossing, going out shopping, giving up their culture for everyone's profit. Who runs Bollywood? Indian people. Who runs our shit? So we shake our ass and dance as if racism just upped and vanished. But has it? No. It's right on course. You're beaten so bad, you're trained to ignore. Let me not just make sweeping statements. Give me a second. I'll explain. For small amounts of drug possession, there's more black people in jail in America than there is for rape and armed robbery and murder all put together. And you can say we're just locking up tubs, but imagine they imprison every middle class kid that had ever held drugs. Oh, that's right, that'd be your kids, it's bigger than that. What is going on with this? Prison in America's private business. They get paid 50k per year per inmate by the state. Just wait. Also legally are allowed to use their prison inmates as slaves. Cheap slave labour for big corporations. They come out of jail when they can't get a job. So when we celebrate going to jail, we are literally celebrating enslavement. Add to that, that the hood that you live in. Engineered social condition that breeds crime by design. Where do you think you get your nine? And you can say that they're just black. But I like to go with facts. In the 1920s, you would have found in America Black towns that were prospering centers of economics and education to make you proud. But some people could have bear that the former slaves would not just lie down to the KKK and other hate groups, burn those towns to the ground, killing hundreds if it ain't understood. You think you're always living in a hood shit, it's only been 60 years since the hung blacks and burn them and that was so cool. There were days where your baskets, picnic baskets, even gave kids the day off school, go see a lynching, have a picnic, it's fun to watch the little monkeys die. The people act a little dysfunctional. You want to pretend that you don't know why. If your colour means you can be killed and you're powerless to get justice about it, is it difficult to figure out how you would then end up feeling about it? And that ain't excuses. I'm just dealing with the roots of abuses that make a reality where a generation of young men speak of ourselves as dirt, casual. That's America. This, Britain. Something similar, some different. In this country, the first things they were the working class. What's changed? Worst jobs, worst conditions, most tax. Look where you're living, you go to the pub. Friday night, you will fight with a guy, don't know what for, won't fight with a guy in a suit and a tie who sends your kids to die in the war. Mm. It's your kids, the poor people. <laughs> die in the foreign land. For these wars that we don't understand. Yeah, they say you are British, and that lovely patriotism they feed you, but in reality, you have more in common with immigrants than with your leaders. I know mm. both sides of my family, black and white, are fed your mentality, reality in the system, poor people are dirt regardless of shape. But with that said, let's not pretend that everything is the same. When our grandparents came here to Britain, if you had a criminal record, you couldn't get it. That's right. That protected from all of the stupid, stupid abuses they would be living. Kicked in the teeth, stabbed in the street, many times firebombed our houses, put feces through our letterbox, and of course, the cops did so much about it. They up to the patents, people spitting in my pram because I was a coon baby. But of course, that hasn't no effect on my thing, you're crazy. And none of this was for any good reason. They were just black and breathing. To ease the guilt now for all of this treatment, constant stereotypes are needed. So if I celebrate how big that my dick is, bricks that I'm flipping, clips that I'm sticking, chicks that I'm hitting and I'm playing my position, but why have I teach a kid to be a mathematician and I'm messing with his season, how they got it for the prison? Jeez! <laughs> what do you think we got now in Britain? Just like America, private prison. Prison for profit. That means when you man go jail, people make money off it. So keep environments to free crime, build more jails at the same time, market balance yeah. to the kids in the rhymes, as long as rich kids ain't dying, it's fine. Get them to the street. So lost to actually believe if they don't celebrate killing themselves. Oh, color! Color! But it's because they're soft. 
Was Malcolm soft? Was Marley soft? Mm. Tell me, was Marcus Garvey soft? Well, yeah. was Muhammad Ali soft? Nah, mm. nah, I think not. But they want us to think that the road is cool. Being on road is all we can do. But we don't control the wholesale production, so who benefits from us moving the food? All thinking there's no way out of road life, but Malcolm X used to hustle on the roadside. And Marcus Garvey organized more than six million people. That's in North right. Or Twitter. Why is this something you can't equal? Who changed you to believe you're inferior? Some boat ever though in Nigeria are the remains of an ancient moat that was 1,000 years ago. 20 meters wide, 70 down. Round the remains of an ancient town. Is 400 square miles around. 400 Science! Square miles around. Please, please don't believe me. It was a documentary on BBC. We're studying history. Two minutes watching MTV. And MTV said, We're black. Now everyone want to go and wear platinum. And MTV said, pop magnums. Now everyone want to go and pop magnum. If MTV said, drink prune juice, you would start hearing that in tune soon. Hey, hey, what part <laughs> Is it now more important what I've got to say? Oh, and I drive a Mercedes, by the way, so everybody listen to what, what I've got to say. Does that make you all happy? Oh, but shh, my head's still nappy. Think for myself. So <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Good for the rhymes, they put us in the same place at the same time, and it's clear to everybody I'm out of my mind. Some of these guys are running out of their rhymes, clear to everybody. They just got ears. I'm the guy that they just might fear, they want to get near, but they can't have a peer out there. I'm hard, they can just slap here. Oh, my Jeez. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that much, it's a movement. <laughs> I don't speak for myself, but a union, black, white, man, woman, anyone who respects truth, we put in. Dudes are That's like, no, they right. put in. Yeah, you're sweeping on substance, put in. So you can never ever be with a level on. Our songs get played out in a level on. We speak for the people properly, not for the old fat guys in offices. And they go, mm. it ain't fair. Can't even want to comb his hair. And he's <laughs> he's <laughs> Back to the more important task of being so shower that I've got half the hood screaming, knowledge is power. And I ain't saying that'll change that. Back. But I do know this for a fact. Right now, there's a youth on your block with his hands on his face screwed up, so he don't care that he don't give a f that he won't let nobody call his block. But when the words go in, open your shackles. Because once that's happened, there's no going backwards. So read, read, read. Stuck on the block. Read, read. Sitting in the box. Read, read. Don't let them say what you can achieve. So when people are enslaved, one of the first things they do is stop them reading. Because it is well understood that intelligent people will take our freedom. Because if we knew our power, we would understand we can't be held down. If we knew our power, we would not elevate not one of these clowns. If we knew our power, we wouldn't get arrogant when we get two pennies. If we knew our power, we would see what everybody sees that we're rich already. Jeez!